Aneurysm is when uh, a blood vessel dilates out, the balloons out. And just like any, any, any balloon, if you keep on blowing on a balloon, it'll eventually pop. So the risk of aneurysm is that when it gets big enough, it can rupture. The risk of dying for all comers with ruptured aortic aneurysm is about 90% because many of them don't make it to the hospital. Not all aneurysms uh, need to be fixed. and, and uh, so we have to calculate the risk of rupture, and the most important thing is the size. So the current recommendation is if an aneurysm reaches 5 centimeters on the minor axis measurement or 5.5 centimeters on the major axis measurement, then uh, that's when we recommend a repair. The other thing to consider is the rate of growth. If an aneurysm grows very fast, that's an aneurysm with a higher risk of rupture than the one that has a rather indolent course. So what is fast rate? Uh, that is usually uh, uh, defined as one centimeter per year or five millimeters in six months. So if the rate of growth is higher than that, meaning five millimeters or higher in six months or bigger than one centimeter over a year, then we, we fix those aneurysms. Abdominal aortic aneurysm can be fixed by either open method, which requires making a long incision in the belly, or sometimes we can come from, from the side, usually the left side. And we go in and uh, clamp the uh, aorta above and, above and below the aneurysm and replace it with a synthetic uh, blood vessel, usually made of polyester. The other method is to go through the groin. We access the blood vessel in, uh, in the groin with a needle and then we pass a wire and then over the wire we deliver stent graft. The stent graft is constrained in, uh, in the sheath and once we relieve the sheath, the, the stent graft will open up and by deploying the stent graft above and below the aneurysm and by opening up, it excludes blood flow into the aneurysm sac. So those are two different main uh, ways. Obviously the uh, benefit of endovascular uh, repair EVAR is it is a minimally invasive technology without opening the belly, uh, just going through a small groin incisions. So the risk of um, uh, dying from the operation is much lower. However, endovascular repair requires uh, a lifelong uh, surveillance program. On average, in about 20% uh, of the patients, uh, uh, within five years will require additional interventions to fix uh, problems. Open surgery is a more definitive, uh, more of a permanent fix, but there's a higher upfront risk of uh, death, and there may be some uh, complications that may be associated with uh, opening the abdomen. After open surgery, we usually expect them to stay on hospital about four days, whereas in, that's without any complications. Whereas in endovascular surgery, the uh, vast majority of our patients will go home the next day, and in about a week, I don't feel anything. So that's the benefit of endovascular repair. Much faster recovery through a minimally invasive operation.